yo, what's up, 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 what's up. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back again with another quick video. Guys, I don't like to hold y'all too long, man. Y'all know I give you about six, seven minutes, then I'm gone. I'm on to another video. <laughs> That's how I do. I, at least I know I see some people out here doing 20 minute videos and all this stuff. Nah, that's too long, man. About six or seven minutes is all you really need to do a video. That's what I think, anyway. Alright, now this here, guys, is going to be an update review on the Optima Tire Bond Tire Gel. And uh, at the time, I paid, like, I haven't used this much, as you can see. I worked with it a couple times, not much. I'll give y'all some updates on it. It's a pretty good dressing. Uh, what I like about this, it's good for interior and exterior. Because it's not really overly shiny. And uh, I think this stuff is water-based, I want to say. Okay. I think this is water-based. Okay, all right, here it says, protects, protects and shines tires and vinyl surfaces. Contain ozone and UV protectants. Contains no petroleum disabilities. Environmental-friendly performance guarantee. Optimum Bond Tire is a water-based, yep, vac-free tire dress with high gloss and excellent durability it can be used to wheel wheels exterior and exterior trims vinyl and dash whenever a high gloss finish is desired Optibon tire gel also protects these surfaces from ozone uv and oxidation see i like a company like like this right here it states what their product is. You don't have to guess whether it's a water base or a silicon base. It tell you on the baller. This is a water base dressing. All right, and it works for all. It works for trim. It works for tires. It works for wheel wheel. It works for interior. All right, so no further ado, man. Let's step into it. I'm gonna put a little bit down on this tire. Put it on the applicator. I put way too much. Alright. Apply it around to this tire. And yes, it is a water based dressing for sure. Because it's very runny, like, too. Alright. It's very runny. And the good thing about water-based dressings, which um, me personally, I'm a fan of silicone when it comes to the tires. You know, water-based dress is just easy cleanup for you guys, you know. I don't care about an easy cleanup, though. I like the hard work. You know, it doesn't bother me. I just use that totally awesome. You know, that totally awesome will move everything on the tire anyway. So it don't really matter whether it's water based to me or uh, silicon based. You can believe that that um, that that totally also gonna remove whatever's up there. Y'all, y'all don't think that totally also gonna remove? You got another thing coming. <laughs> now retail this year, I think this is about twenty dollars now. The Octobond tie gel. Uh, we're gonna get that time to kind of penetrate down into the tire. And as you put it up there, it, it doesn't sling because it's water-based. Like I was about to say, once you put it on the tire, the shine intensifies up there. It, doesn't, it becomes shinier after it hit the tire for some reason. I've seen a lot of them do that. When you first put it up there, it's like, hey, hey. When you first put it up there, it's like, well, you know, it's not really shiny, shiny, shiny. But if you let it sit up there for like um, a good minute or two, you'll see the shine start to intensify like this here. You can see how the shine is just kind of intensifying. Okay, those lines, these new car, how they line in the tires here. You got to make sure you get that gel and dressing and stuff out of those tires. So we got to let that first coat play on up there. And then we're going to um, apply the second coat to this tire which you probably don't need the second coat to the tire so that's what we're gonna do 
But it's a really good stuff. Big bang for your buck because this is a 32 ounces. Big baller, as you guys can see. Look how big this baller is. See here? 32 ounces, and I only look, use a very little bit out of it. See there? So, you're talking about something that's going to really go a long ways. But when you use this, make sure you shake it up real, real well like this right here. I mean, I just kept shaking it and shaking it and shaking it. You got to shake it up really good. So, it can mix up everything, especially when it comes to the water-based stuff. Make sure. But that tire looks really good there, as you can see. Actually, it doesn't need but one coat. See that? And you can use this on wheel wells, interior. It's a big bang for your buck in a way, though, if you like um, water-based dressings. Octobon gives it. I've never seen that smaller than this 32 ounces that it gives here. So I think we can just go with one coat, you know. I don't really want to show you guys no more. Y'all seeing it, what you get. That's what the first coat. I don't really think you need another coat. You don't. You guys can see that pretty good. I was giving y'all an update review. And um, here, basically, um, this stuff doesn't sling. You know, most of your water-based dressings is pretty good about slinging. You know, it doesn't sling all over the place, none of that stuff. And um, that's what you want. You don't want that stuff slinging all over the side of your car, guys. I'm just telling you. You want to cut down on sling as much as possible. As much as possible, you want to cut that sling out. But you see what kind of shine you get. It's, it's a high gloss, as you can see. It's definitely a high gloss shine. And uh, you don't need really but one good coat. One good coat. That's all you need with this product. One good coat. And uh, it shines like glass. Does a great job. High gloss shine, guys. And uh, yeah, it's a good one. No sling. No sling whatsoever. It doesn't sling. That's what I like about it. No sling. All right. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed, man. I just want to give y'all an update review on the Octobon. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Octobon Tashan. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. And yeah, get up on this one for sure because this is a big bang for your buck. And, um... 32 ounces is a lot of tire gel for like, what, 20 bucks? Give or take. Could be a little less. Not for sure. But at the time, I got it for 12 $11, I think it was. $11 and some change. Anyway, till next time, you guys take care. Hit y'all on the next video. I'm out. Peace.